so this is my brake bleeding kit um, dot 4 fluid for this particular braking system and a um, little pipe with a one way valve in it so as I can uh, bleed the fluid what I'm going to do is just um, syringe out the brake, the old brake fluid that's in the reservoir so I syringe that out it's important you change the brake fluid on a regular basis um, <coughs> because um, brake fluid is what's known as high gross scopic uh, that means it has an affinity for water it, it draws water from the atmosphere uh, and that can lead to corrosion of the brake components so it's important to change the brake fluid I usually change it on my bike once a year but manufacturers say change once every three years generally uh, anyway so what we're going to do is we're going to put some new brake fluid in here and we're going to bleed the system through um, also be careful not to get any brake fluid on your paintwork because it's a good paint stripper is brake fluid so we'll just protect his paint pump the system up you can see some of the air is leaking back up the system there and then I'm going to open the nipple don't know whether you can see but there's fluid coming out in the transparent pipe so we're going to go through that process a few times you can see air back feeding through the system there in the reservoir sometimes if uh, braking systems are particularly difficult to bleed it's helpful if you take the caliper off and hold it up above the level of the reservoir and then uh, bleed it that way and that way all the air comes out through the bleed nipple or that's the theory anyway we'll just do that again Okay, done that side, now we'll have a go at the other one. I'm starting to get a, um, a lever now, albeit a little bit spongy. It's improving a lot. Drop more fluid in. So I'll repeat this procedure a few times uh, to bleed it through, make sure there's fresh brake fluid all the way through the system and uh, then I might leave it uh, for a few hours and come back and uh, you'll notice if I you see if I'm pumping that lever there we've got some air bubbles coming up and I quite often find 
that that will go on for a little while and uh, if I've got time I'll leave the system and come back and pump it periodically uh, because the, I find the air bubbles tend to work their way up to the top and into the um, into the back into the master cylinder anyway and if you just pump it like that a few times you can generally get the air out of the system completely I mean you can see now I've got a pretty good and that's a pretty firm um, uh, lever now it doesn't feel that spongy at all so I reckon virtually all the air is out of that um, but as I say I'll, I'll bleed it a bit more and then leave it because it does still pump up a wee bit I'll, I'll come back and bleed it again later so